full Ubuntu operating system running on the phone. Uh, it's bit for bit exactly the same as what you might install on a desktop. Um, the user experience is like a distilled version of the desktop interface, um, but there are a lot of elements in common. So for example, these are your favorite applications. We have native applications like this telephone or this gallery application. This is a native app. We also have uh, um, web applications like uh, Facebook, Twitter, Gmail. Um, so I'm not on the, on, on the internet here, so I'm not gonna try and show you a web application. So you launch applications from the left and you go back on the right. So I can go back through a couple of applications like this. Um, the reason we let you immerse in the content is because we have a standard way to get you your buttons back on every application. So generally applications don't show you any buttons at all. It's just all content you do very seamlessly. Your system is story is up at the top here. So like there, there, there are my wireless networks. There's my sound story over here with my messages. So I might want to just reply directly to somebody over there and then go straight back. So it's very fluid, you move very smoothly from, from, from app to app or from the system back to the application. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just letting people how how as far as like applications things like that be like an app store or anything like that. There is already an app store for Ubuntu on the desktop. We'll extend that we'll extend to, to, okay. to cover mobile applications. And remember, this is a desktop. If I dock this, okay. I can run a full desktop on the other okay. screen. So the same CPU can run the phone and the desktop with one device. So I can install a desktop application on here and get it on my desktop. That same application can give me a phone face here and a desktop and a desktop face on the desktop. Okay. What would be the sort of the uh, standard specs, ideal specs for running the uh, the um, on your phone? On a, on a this is the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. So it's kind of the third generation Nexus. It's one generation old. It's about a year old. So when we ship Ubuntu on phones in 2014, this will be like a low-end phone. So so okay. you'll be able to get the Ubuntu phone on low-end devices, and on high-end devices, you'll have this amazing docking experience where you get the full PC out of your phone. Oh, that's awesome. That's pretty cool. So the, so the aim is sort of hit low-end low -end and high-end sort of, yep. sort of a one-two punch there. Exactly. So in the middle, your standard Android, standard iOS is going to be great because you've got lots of lots of apps, um, and that's where Ubuntu for Android might be really useful. But on the high end, um, the, the pure Ubuntu device is fantastic. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. And you as want? far as you were saying, like the web apps, so something like Facebook, is there a way for for Facebook to make like a native application? Yeah, absolutely. So, so these this this is a native app that I was showing you. This gallery app over here is a native app. Okay. And uh, you can see it's really fast. And, and smooth. So we have a we have a way for to, to do both native apps and HTML5. And HTML5. Okay, that's how you're doing the web apps. Yeah. So for multi, is there like a multitasking button or anything like that, or is it just a swipe back and forth? That's so how you multitask different applications. Uh, it's a swipe back and forth for for, for for multitasking on the phone. Okay, that's actually more like pretty more like, like more intuitive than that would say a standard like with the, sort of the other phone, sort of a button to kind of get to. Once, once, you've, once you've had it for five minutes, you're flying on the phone. It's fantastic. Awesome. It's really fast to move from thing to thing. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much.